been happening, I realized it was Jesus. He was reaching for us. And as he's reaching for us, the ground turns into a cloud surface. And we were standing on a circular cloud. This cloud began to move in this quick motion. It was a circular motion. It was almost like those roller coaster rides where you get in, it's a circular spear shaped thing. You get against the wall and it moves really, really fast and you can't move. Well, we could still move, but it was on the bottom of, of us. It was the, the ground had turned to clouds and it was moving really, really flat, fast. And we realized it's Jesus. And then there was this, this fear that began to creep in. And I realized, oh my, Jesus has returned. He's come for us. And there was this trembling. Sisters, and welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings. I truly pray that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed week in the Lord. It is so great to have you back with me here again so that we can experience the many dreams and visions that have been emailed into the channel. If you have your very own rapture dream, vision, tribulation dream, or even a near-death experience that you would like to share with the channel and have it made into a video just like this, please email it to cloud9blessings at gmail.com and you are more than welcome to email it in by video or by audio as well. In this video today, we're going to be looking at a submission from our dear sister in Christ, Paula. But before I go ahead and share that video with you, I do want to go ahead and read the email that she sent along with the video and it says, I just posted this video just a few days ago and the dream happened last weekend on the night of February 9th of 2024. I saw Jesus in a dream, a prophetic warning. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you so much, Sister Paula, for wanting to share your experience with the channel family. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you have to see. I'm really looking forward to hearing about what you have seen in your experience. So brothers and sisters, let's now take a look and see what our sister in Christ saw in her experience. Hey there. Good evening. This is Paula Ware. I am on today to share with you a very shaking dream that I had this past weekend. In this dream, I was with some other people. I am going to share the event that occurred. And uh, the dream was very startling at first, but then it became peaceful. And then there was this unction to move quickly. I was outside and there were others with me. And there was this huge bright light that began to appear in the clouds above. And it was just a white light. And as it grew bigger, it looked like a huge sun. And when I say gigantic, it, it was extremely large. And the clouds began to part slowly as the light got brighter and bigger. The sunlight looked like a sun. And the clouds that were above began to come down. And they turned gray. They formed a circle around us and they began to move in a circular pattern. And as this is happening, the clouds above began to part. And I saw this huge sun that was a face. I saw a body that was in all white. And then hands began to come out of the clouds and move forward. And once that started happening, I realized it was Jesus. He was reaching for us. And as he's reaching for us, the ground turns into a cloud surface. And we were standing on a circular cloud. This cloud began to move in this quick motion. It was a circular motion. It was almost like those roller coaster rides where you get in, it's a circular spear shaped thing you get against the wall and it moves really really fast and you can't move well we could still move but it was on the bottom of, of us it was the the ground had turned to clouds and it was moving really really flat fast and we realized it's jesus 
And then there was this, this fear that began to creep in. And I realized, oh my God, Jesus has returned. He's come for us. And there was this trembling. It was, it was a reverential fear. It was not um, like a, a snake or something is chasing me. It was this fear that the time has come. We weren't expecting it. Just as the Bible says, and as we're running, um, there was um, other. There were others in front of me, and we're just we're yelling for one another by name. So it was people that I was familiar with, and we're, we're calling each other by name. But the noise, I'm saying noise, the sound that these clouds in motion made, and the the floor going so quickly in this circular pattern, there was this almost like a roaring and that was intimidating and it was as if we couldn't get close enough the more we ran the harder we ran that we were just not close enough to jesus and before me i even saw someone running really really fast ahead of us and quickly as this floor is turning fast they were thrown off and I woke myself up. I made myself wake up because I was terrified. At that point, I realized what was happening, that Jesus had come and we weren't prepared. And so my message today is just that. As I sat with the father later on, I wept. I wept for half a day because I was so sad to think that Jesus had come and we missed him. We did not get to enter into the clouds with Jesus. And so I sat with the father. I asked, what was this floor, this circular floor that was moving so quickly in this circular pat pattern, right? With these clouds, these great clouds, circling all of these clouds, there's just this motion, commotion even, if you will, happening. And um, the Holy Spirit told me that the floor that we were trying to run on was a threshing floor. And if you know anything about a threshing floor, you know that it's used to separate the wheat from the tear. And I am here today to ask you to be mindful. It's time to prepare. There's an urgent, urgent unction for us to prepare for the return of Jesus Christ, right? We're seeing all these different things happening. The world is in an uproar. There are uh, tumultuous things happening daily even in different parts of the world and my heart is truly sobbing this weekend i was in a very somber somber spirit um, just this heaviness of knowing that the message was that we're not prepared and many will miss jesus many will be on that threshing floor thinking that they are going to be Lift it up into the clouds with Jesus, but quickly, just like that, we'll miss it. And the message is to prepare. The message is also to prepare our children. There was um, the appearance of uh, children being along the threshing floor as well. And that put some uh, heaviness on my heart, a, a different type of heaviness to think of the innocent children that um, are not prepared spiritually, who are almost adults. You know, we go from this, this stage of tiny babies to toddlers and, and they're growing and they're growing and, and we have to pour into them as soon as we can, Jesus Christ. We have to make sure that they know who he is. Of course, we know that there's obviously grace for babies and, and small, small children who may not have that comprehension, but it's, it's extremely important for us to pour into our children as well. As we are preparing, we need to make sure that the children and the youth are prepared as well. And so on today, I'm here to deliver, deliver that message. That was the dream. Um, if there's someone else who has an additional part, I'm asking that you share that with us because as the Bible tells us, we prophesy in part. 
God didn't give me a completed version of this dream, but he gave me enough to have a message to sound the alarm. It's time. We don't have much time. Time is now. So again, I thank you for tuning in and I pray that you will take this to heart and go before the Father, try the Spirit, test the Spirit as the Bible tells us. And I don't take it lightly that the Father would allow me to witness that and to relay the message. So let's praise God. Let's continue to pray without ceasing. Let's fast and pray. And remember, be on watch. Thank you so much, Sister Paula, for sharing your end time experience with me. That was quite an experience, very intense, very powerful, and clearly had a warning behind it. And that is the importance of getting safe right now. And of course, with that is you're prepared. And as you had mentioned here also, um, the importance of sharing the gospel with our children, letting our children know who Christ is and about the free gift of salvation. And of course, going with them through the Bible is so important. So I truly felt that. But other things that really caught my eye in your experience was the fact that you had mentioned about this big bright light that was light that came through the clouds as it was parting. And that you had saw as the clouds were parting, the clouds then came down and you said that they were a grayish color and that they were forming around people and were moving at a fast pace around and that everyone had that were with you have this urgency to run and to get on these clouds. But what also stood out, especially as this was happening, was that you saw Jesus's face appear on the sun, that he was wearing white and that he opened his arms out to everyone because he had appeared. And this was when the Lord was coming for the bride, the church. And this was the rapture. And that you had mentioned that people just were really trying to get on these clouds and that as many had run to get on these clouds, they were quickly ejected off of it. And that you were so terrified to the point where you wanted to wake yourself out of this dream because of the intensity that you felt. And I could clearly see why, especially with the urgency of being prepared, because many are not prepared. Many people don't know about the free gift of salvation. And many people believe that there's so many other things that they have to do to get saved when they're not understanding that it is a free gift. And that's in first Corinthians 51 through four, how that Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And there are many people that do, um, you know, believe that the Lord exists, but they don't know about accepting the free gift of salvation. That is by faith, that it is by believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. And because of this, I believe that ties into what she was saying. And this is of course my interpretation why many people were uh, ejected off of the clouds was because they did not accept this free gift of salvation. Now, why she said, of course, you know, take it to the Lord and ask the Lord, you know, if you have questions or you want the Lord to clarify what she had seen in this experience. But from my, you know, interpretation, I see it as people had not accepted the gift of salvation, the free gift of salvation. And that's why many people were left behind, including those who were at the age of accountability. Um, but of course, like I said, that is for the Lord to judge. The Lord will be the one to judge if the child is at an age of accountability, because every kid is at a different mentality level as far as understanding and knowing. So it's not for us to judge that. But I do see the clear warning of what she had seen in the stream about being prepared and ready because many people were not prepared in her experience when Jesus came back because he came back suddenly. And as people were running to get on this cloud, they were quickly ejected off. 
So I really see this as a warning. Thank you so much, sister, for sharing your experience with the channel. Her YouTube channel information will be in the description box. So please head over there. And I also want to thank you all brothers and sisters for subscribing to the channel, for watching all the videos, for giving the thumbs up because it helps to get these videos recommended to more brothers and sisters in Christ here on YouTube. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video today. And until next time, have a very blessed week. God bless.